Craigslist and eBay, the two online giants, couldn't be more different. Craigslist prides itself on offering free services, while eBay is dedicated to turning a profit. eBay versus Newmark tells the story of their failed effort to work together. Craigslist is a website for classified ads. Although a for-profit corporation, Craigslist operates its business as a community service, primarily free of charge. Craigslist chief executive and president, Jim Buckmaster, and its board chairman and founder, Craig Newmark, were controlling shareholders and occupied two of the three seats on the company's board. The third seat was occupied by an appointee of eBay, the online auction site and Craigslist minority shareholder. Buckmaster, Newmark, and eBay were Craigslist's only shareholders. eBay focused on monetizing its websites and maximizing revenue streams, hoping one day to own Craigslist outright. The relationship between Craigslist and eBay was rocky, with eBay pushing Craigslist to further monetize Craigslist's site. Additionally, Newmark and Buckmaster, whom we'll call Newmark, suspected that eBay had been using confidential Craigslist data it obtained as a member of the board to develop a competing classified site. Newmark adopted a shareholder rights plan, allowing existing Craigslist shareholders to purchase additional new shares of stock at a sharply discounted price if a third party acquired 15% or more of Craigslist's outstanding shares. Effectively, the plan prevented eBay from selling all its shares in a complete block. eBay sued Newmark in the Delaware Court of Chancery, alleging that the rights plan breached Newmark's fiduciary duties. Newmark argued that he'd adopted the rights plan out of concern that, after his death, his heirs might sell their Craigslist shares to eBay, and that eBay would then destroy Craigslist's community service corporate culture. After a trial, the court issued its ruling.